Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and so far we've got quite a lot of the front end done um, in the last episode we started to work around the rear side here so I think we'll continue whoops this is I think we'll continue going around the rear of the car here now um, we didn't get too far in the previous episode um, my reference is here so look let's get the wheels hidden just real quick I'm going on back view now again it's a little bit awkward there isn't too much information on the actual blueprints here um, it does look like we want these to actually curve so on a reference image that I have here it appears that from this point of the light we actually get one big curve around the whole of the bumper here so what we actually want with these as I imagine is we'll want this to kind of emulate that and then this to do the same here so do something like that just so it gives us more of a straight down kind of angle inside now spoke in the last episode about this being a vent or a um, reflector of some kind what I'm going to do with my one is I'm going to have mine as a vent. Now it looks to me like it probably starts about here. So maybe what we'll do just now is, well, actually, what I think we might do first is at the bottom here, what we'll do is we'll take this around here. And this is the diffuser. So I think what we're going to want to do is pull this out and along here. I think this looks okay. And it looks like we want to be curving under ever so slightly there. Now what we actually have is across this section here we actually have a straight edge so we're going to do similar to what we did at the front I'm going to grab an edge loop here just add it to the end there and it looks like it's actually more or less straight on so currently here we've got a little bit of an angle so what we will do is we'll pull that forward so it's just slightly there something like that looks okay and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab this edge here um, let's just make sure we're on the angle that we that looks good and we're going to grab that edge we're going to hit control E and we're going to bring this up and around this diffuser here Like before, we're only going to do it. We're going to do it over as few as possible because we don't want to add in more information than we need. Uh, we also want to plan for it, so we have one line that comes across here. Um, so the vent starts there and comes down here, which could end up sinking to there as well. So what we'll do is we'll drop one just here. Back on our edge here, we'll go up again and to something like this because that's where this line will meet. And we'll want to keep getting a little bit of curve around here just to help it around the corner. a bit more width to it and now everything else I imagine will then end up travelling up so we'll grab this and we'll go up here a bit of rotation on there pull that over here 
Now one thing we can note at this point in our side view that we are wanting these to be a little bit straighter. is that uh, I can't really see what this double line is doing. Um, this lower line here is the diffuser, but it doesn't seem to bubble up on my example here, so I'm just going to go straight, straight to the middle here. Um, maybe go up ever so slightly, just to match that trajectory there. Then we'll pull this out. So that's kind of gave us that shape of the bumper that goes along that section there. And it looks almost as if all of these bits here it looks like we're going to want to bring them all up these ones here slightly to the side so we've got better curvature there rather than having a straight line into something like that and then all of these points appear to Insert an edge loop down here. Now, looks like I want this to be more like so, because it does look like it's. A Straighter with a slight curve going around. But we'll need to add another line up here at some point once we've got a bit more detail inside. And we'll merge these together like this. This one here will maybe want to pull a bit further down here. After all, this one is there to link to that area. This one's here to link to that. We'll do something like this. And I'm just going to hold X to snap the individual points here to the center. Okay. Uh, we want to kind of follow that same inset. bends back. Looks like it goes up in one in motion. Okay, so let's go back. Um, so it seems here that this is the toe point. Um, but the toe point on my reference actually looks a little bit lower down here. Maybe what that's suggesting is that these points here are a bit too close to each other. I'm 
actually want them to be a bit more defined. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and this and we will bridge them together. in the rear view. Now again we don't actually have the examples here but on my reference images it does look like it protrudes in somewhat. And we've also got a bit more of a curve which will happen when we come to smooth so we'll pull those in like so. That looks okay and that may be a little bit more. Okay. Now, on the references, it appears that this is the actual inside, and this is the vent itself. It doesn't really line up. Let's see if we can pull this further out into position here. curvature in there. More like that. So that looks a little bit better. So we'll add a little bit more curve in there as well, so we'll insert an edge loop. I'm just going to go for one line right in the middle here. And I'm going to do a few things. Firstly, I'm going to use this here to a bit more curve on that rear wheel arch there. On our side view here, we're going to make sure that it's lining up this area nicely. And then in our rear view here, we'll make sure that we're getting curved to that vent. So that looks a little bit better. Okay. One thing maybe is I don't actually think it goes in very deep. Get that extra vertices inside here. I don't actually think it goes in that deep. So we'll put it in something like. that's looking good. So we're going to need to think now this is going to need to merge down to this point. So I'm going to go back in my rear view and I'm going to actually pull these points a little bit further back here. Like so to give us more space. further in 
this direction too. So we've got a decent line and shape to that. And uh, we'll insert an edge loop, we'll drop that here. And then just for now, put that to match. And bring that across in here as well. And we'll maybe get a little bit of curvature there. So basically what we'll want to do is we'll converge these and we'll do the same here and you know, drop an edge loop back in that center and this is just going to allow us to snap our vertices here and merge it and I think what we we'll want at this point is a little bit of curvature so not completely straight there so we'll pull that there this one here. Okay, um, so because we now have triangles here, um, what I'm actually going to do at this point is put it in as well. So for a quick fix on these triangles, we can drop this in. And again, this can give us a little bit more scope for a curve around. Okay, so we've got that done. It looks a little bit larger, maybe a little bit thicker than it actually is on the card, but once we smooth that, it should take it down a little bit. If not, we can easily just move these points and these edges here a bit more in this direction. Grab this edge here. So we can always adjust that um, later should we need to. smoother. Okay, so it looks like now with these points we're just going to want to hit control maybe not. Maybe it looks like we may want another line going down here as well. Down this point. And we're going to want that because we're going to need to meet up with this line. Maybe for now actually do with that point. So I don't know if I want another line running down that edge there because it's important to kind of keep um, very few going down here because we don't want to disrupt what we already have. So let me go to this one and go more like this and we'll head vertically. So if we put that maybe something like here allows to take that one a little bit further over there. We just want to make sure we're still sitting nicely in that side view. Something like that. Like that. So inside here, we'll hit grab all of these, we'll hit control E. We're just going to bring them up. For now, we can just scale them into a straight line. We'll drop them down level there. And our side view, we're just going to make sure we're following the line of the bumper there. So we'll merge these two together. And we just want to make sure because at this point here, this is where that's inset. We just want to make sure that from this point above, so this line here, we're going to be curving nicely, kind of a positive angle. We'll grab these again. We'll hit Control E. We'll bring these up now to the next point up here. Now we can see that. On here we have that extra curved step up, so we're going to bring that to here. And this is the curve that kind of links up and around into this corner. So 
what we may want to do just now is we'll maybe want to follow that around just so when we get to that point it's coming from over here defined curve. So grab all these edges. Like so. We can snap this one here. And match. We can bring this one back as well. that for now. When it comes to the details episodes, we'll um, be able to clean that up a little bit more. Okay. And we can simply... It looks like we've got a little bit wobbly here now. Set a little bit too much. Okay. And then it looks like with these edges here. here we're going to snap and merge there this edge and this edge will look like they're going to line here or maybe it's just a bit more like that and then it looks like with these lines here I just got to another reference image yep. so what we'll do is we'll grab this line this line this line and this line with control E this is what becomes the boot line. Like so. Okay. That looks pretty good just there. down a little bit, just get a bit more of that curve. Okay, so we're looking pretty good now on that rear section. And we'll be working down here and around here for the diffuser, diffusing the exhausts as well. Um, one thing we might want to start considering at this point is all of the different lines and curves that are going to be spouting off here. 
So we can li start to line up these sections. Let them line up there. So the thing about this car is it looks uh, on the blueprints here. It looks like we've got a whole lot of defined lines, but this top line here is well defined. This one underneath is well defined. Then it looks like it bulges out and maybe it's so it looks like this line and this line are well defined. So the one cuts through the handle, the one that's two below is well defined. And then everything else kinda has a line there but it doesn't really make too much of a difference. So let's grab these edges. Let's try and get a little bit of definition around here now. Um, so I'm going to want that to come out and along here. So these points will maybe do something like that. Gotta remember that these are straight, which we don't want them to be. So we can see that we've got a nice bulging arch there. So like I said before, this car does have quite a large track. So what that means is the width between the two wheels here. Um, so on this car rather than the regular 2 series, we'll see quite a large um, fenders or wings as we would call them. So I want those to go up there now. It looks like coming out from the side skirt here need to go up and around in a bit more detail. It looks like there's a bit more detail on the side skirt as well. So I think what I might do, I'm going to grab all of the corresponding edges here. I'm just going to make sure we're grabbing the right ones. So, yep, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we're going to take all of these, we're going to hit Control E. I'm going to bring all of these along. I'm going to take them up to the end of the door here. We can get those lined up nicely. And I'm going to go to one side of the door, just like we did in the past at the front. Something like that. So it looks like here we might actually be quite a ways off. In terms of our blueprints. That lines up and this lines up, it doesn't appear... Oh, my bad. Got to, got to the wrong line there. We actually want to be over here. Awkward. Right, so let's just drag that over here. We're going to one side again. We'll do the same over here. And here. Okay, so now we're at the correct line. We can bring these in now to match. Okay, so across there now we're going across the top of the line of that door. Now it's a little bit awkward here because we have a 
a lot of geometry coming down this section. So we're going to need to make sure we have a lot of geometry to match. And down here as well. I think what we could do at this point is we're going to need to have a think about this section here. So we'll pull this door out. Now, on some of my blueprints, so up some of my references, should I say, this is a crease, and it gets fairly subtle as it goes down here, but it's this which meets a crease at the bottom of the door, which kind of flows all the way down and up here. Um, we've also in there, we have a vent, which is good, because that means that we can use that vent to mask the extra geometry that we need here, but what we don't want here, so that's good. <coughs> um, let's bring this out. We'll drop that <coughs> in place here. Now I think we'll want to have that a little bit higher, but we'll still want to maintain the curvature. So we'll maybe just pull that out a little bit. Okay. What I think we'll do is we'll add an extra line inside here, and we'll bring that up there. So we'll drop that here. And that looks okay. We'll leave that straight. So this is going to represent the front of the door here. And it's going to be fairly tricky for us to see where these should actually sit. So let's just grab them the best we can. I'm going to our top view. And we're just going to want to fold them in like so. So that looks okay. Because even though the track on these cars is going to be generally a little bit wider, the actual doors and the chassis will probably line up the same as the original cars. Bring that in. I think at this point what we'll, we'll probably want to do is we'll want to have the side skirt here match. So we'll bring the whole thing and the same here. And I'm just going to snap these just there. quite nicely there. Um, we have a whole load more information in the side skirt that we can actually see. It appears that we actually have a large curved section there with a little step out. So we'll need to consider that at some point. Um, it looks like here that it's not actually as busy as I think. I think after this line here, it's practically actually goes straight back up there. A little curve around here. What we could maybe do is grab these edges here. Let's bring these down. Get these line over here. want to have another loop in between as well. Those across there. It looks like we're not quite far enough down here. I think what we'll probably end up wanting to do is it'll 
probably be a case that we want this one to come down and around here. This one to pop out down here. And this one to come up around there. Something like that. because we do have quite the large bit here, so that should filter up onto there quite nicely, which is good. Okay guys, so I think we'll leave it there for today. Um, we've got quite a lot of that rear bumper done. I've had to think about how we're going to bring these sections around at the top here. I think in the next episode what we might try to do is we might actually try to um, bring this line all the way up across and get all of this area merged maybe start work on the top of the boot line in there as well maybe we those together so i think in the next episode or two we should have practically a base mesh put together ready to start extracting the panels and then um, having to think about smoothing so that's looking pretty good all right guys cool